Arkansas Symphony Orchestra Board of Directors. On behalf of the board, the Board of Advisors, the musicians and staff of the Arkansas Symphony, our music director, Philip Mann, our executive director, Christina Littlejohn, 
and all of the ASO family. I'd like to thank you for being here this morning. It's a very exciting day for the Arkansas Symphony with an exciting announcement. And to make that announcement, I'd like to turn the podium over to Jan Hundley, co-chair of our development committee. Jan? Thank you, Dick, and everyone that is here today. I have been a member of the ASO board for five years. I have personally witnessed the amazing concerts performed by our outstanding orchestra. We know that members of our youth orchestra graduate successfully, move on to college, many of them with full scholarships. We know that our education programs have transformed children into honor students at their school. Families have been attending our concerts together. We have witnessed the impact that music has on our community in so many different ways. The ASO will celebrate its 50th anniversary next year. This anniversary has made us stop and ask, how can we recommit to serve the Arkansas community over the next 50 years? How can we create innovative, musical programs that best serve the people of Arkansas today and tomorrow? How can we expand our opportunities to engage in making music, hearing music, and using music to advance Arkansas? Today, we are so excited to announce our Orchestrating the Future comprehensive fundraising capital campaign. We have many ways that we want to serve the Arkansas community, but we need your help. You can help us make sure that every adult and child has access to our concerts. We want each Arkansan to experience the thrill of making and hearing music. By supporting this campaign, the people of Arkansas can help us make this happen. It is my honor to be one of the five co-chairs of this campaign and joining me are Gus Fretzenis, Phil Peters, Dick Wheeler, and Martin Toma. Gus, you have some things to share with us? Thanks, Jan. I'm sort of in my uh, environment, two things that I love, the symphony and construction. So, uh, <laughs> I'll drag this out because it's uh, hit my comfort zone. <laughs> but what an exciting day for the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra. I personally have been involved with the symphony for over 30 years and am delighted to serve as one of the co-chairs of uh, this fundraising campaign. The campaign has been years in the making, 50 years to be exact. And there has never been a more exciting time to invest in the ASO with the renovation of this space at Robinson to the expansion of our music education programs to include the Sturg Sturgis Music Academy. We're not only physically growing and changing, we're also stretching beyond our usual program. $7 million to invest in Arkansas Symphony Orchestra programs that connect enrich, inspire, and advance Arkansas through music. We're happy to announce today that we have already raised close to five million dollars of our uh, seven million dollar company. And you're right, that is very exciting. The funds raised through this three-year campaign will benefit four key opportunities for the ASO. Building the endowment, supporting the ASO during the renovation of Robinson Center Music Hall, providing transforming music engagement opportunities for youth and adults, and achieving financial freedom to continue creative innovations. Last year, the ASO served more than 150,000 people across the state of Arkansas, but we, wanna, we want to reach more. We want every adult and every child to have access to orchestral music and music education because we know how vitally important that is. Why launch a fundraising campaign now? In the last 50 years, the ASO has been fortunate to connect, enrich, inspire, and advance 
audiences but our focus over the next fifty years is investing in our community through service and engagement to be the orchestra of the twenty first century we need to make sure the orchestra will be here for the enjoyment of generations to come it's that reason we're asking you to please consider making a gift today and you can log on to the ASO website or contact the uh, office for uh, uh, to learn more. We need your help. We're almost there, but we can't do it alone. Will you help orchestrate the future? To help us out today, I'd like to invite my co-chair, uh, Phil Peters, to come to the podium. Thank you, Gus, Dick, and Jan. It's been an honor chairing this committee with the others and we look forward to serving the community and to reaching our goal together. Before we close today, though, I want to, before we forget anything, I want to thank the May May Two Quartet for their excellent music, and I think they deserve a round of applause. Yeah. It's been my pleasure to watch all that the Arkansas Symphony has done over the last several years and the accomplishments that it's made. And in line with that, I'd like to thank Christina, Philip, all of the musicians, the board, and the staff for the incredible amount of hard work that goes in behind the scenes to make all this happen. There's never been a more exciting time for the ASO as we try to raise the seven million dollars and make the organization go forward. This will allow us to serve the state in the 21st century and to serve all the citizens in the state in this 21st century. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming. I would encourage you to make a gift today to help us reach this goal and we look forward to reaching the goal and continuing to the future. Thank you.